What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today we are going to be testing a bunch of new viral TikTok makeup. I swear TikTok makes the craziest things go viral and some of them go viral just because they're weird products, not necessarily because they're actually good. I have a couple of those in today's video that we're gonna test out that I have my suspicions that they're just viral because they're just like shocking or weird, not because they're actually good products, but I have also found some amazing products that have gone viral on TikTok because they actually are that good. So we're gonna be testing them out today. We're doing a natural lighting tutorial. So I have no studio lights, just a big window in front of me. And we're gonna really put this stuff to the test and see. So without further ado, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button to be notified of all my future uploads. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, this first one is one of those products that I have my suspicions that this might've just went viral because it's weird, not because it's actually good, but we're gonna see. It is from The Ordinary and this is their Soothing and Barrier Support Serum. So I fell, I was gonna say victim, but it's not victim, but I fell into buying this essentially. TikTok convinced me that I needed to have it went to Sephora and bought it. One thing about The Ordinary is for Sephora standards, it is a bit more affordable. I wanna say the serum was about $17 and some change around that. So it was under 20 bucks. There are many serums at Sephora that are like, you know, 40 bucks and stuff like that. So it was on the more affordable side for Sephora. So I was like, okay, let's try it. It's supposed to be really moisturizing, which is great because I have dry skin. But I think the reason why this went viral is because it is literally bright pink so when you put this on your face it looks really interesting so people on tiktok are like whoa what is that you know and it kind of gets you like dragged into it but let's see maybe it is really good and it's supposed to be apparently a great thing to use to prep your skin kind of as a primer before you go in with makeup to help support the skin barrier and hydrate and all that so let's see i'm gonna just pump it into my hand because it's not good to touch the dropper to your face even though i do that all the time but i'm gonna just put some in my hand and do it the right way today so yeah it's bright pink which is pretty cool I'm gonna just work this in to my skin. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look as shocking when you like, you know, work it in with your hands instead of dropping the pink on your face. This actually definitely has some stick to it, if you guys see. So it seems like a product that actually would be good to apply before your foundation so your foundation can kind of like adhere to it or whatever complexion products you're using. So I like that. And it did make my skin feel hydrated. So may actually be worth the hype. Honestly, a bit better than I thought it would be. Like even on my hands, it feels like really silky. I like the feeling and like the hydration that it gives, especially like in the cold winter months. So I don't mind this. Pretty cool. I do not have a new foundation, but I do have a new concealer. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit. This is just a hydrating skin tint from Hourglass. And I'm just gonna put this on to even out my complexion real quick before we go in with the new concealer that I'm really excited to try because this has seemed, or not seemed, it has been so hyped up and makes it seem like it is an amazing product, so let's see. Okay, the concealer is the Tower 28 concealer. I feel like I have seen this everywhere on TikTok. This is their serum concealer. So it's basically supposed to be weightless, feel like essentially nothing on the skin, but it's gonna give a medium coverage, has a natural finish, um, and it's supposed to be really, really good. I have this, I guess the shade is CC. Um, that's what it says on the bottom of mine. So this does retail for $22. So I'm gonna go in and apply. Okay, just initially, just from like applying it, it definitely feels like hydrating. It's like a um, lighter formula, it's not thick. Definitely feels like a thinner sort of formula. So let's see when we blend it out, because I do still like to have like some coverage with my concealer. Oh, okay. The coverage is there though. It doesn't feel like it's gonna give a good coverage. It feels like it's gonna be very thin. Hmm. Okay, wow. I'm seeing the hype with this concealer. I understand. It does not feel at all how it looks. Like it feels very, very lightweight, like liquidy, like it's gonna be a very thin coverage, but it gives actually a really nice coverage, a lot of brightness, but feels like nothing. So this is a product that I feel like I think is justified for sure. I will wear this on my skin throughout the whole day. So I will update the description box with how it lasts where I link like all the products. So check there for a little wear test update, but dang, this looks really, really good. I really like it a lot. I did not think that it was gonna give me like as good of a coverage as it did. I'm impressed. Okay, up next we have the Pretty Brunge. I was gonna say brunge. Grunge blush from Huda Beauty. So it looks like this. You guys are probably looking at it being like, that's a blush? Like it doesn't look like a blush. So this unexpectedly, I posted a TikTok using and it went pretty viral. I think because the blush looks like this, but when you apply it on, it interacts with your skin's pH and basically creates this really beautiful shade. So let me just show you how it works. Just going in with a clean brush. So again, it looks like, you know, kind of grayish. And when you put it on the brush, it really doesn't look any different. But then when you apply it, to the cheeks, it's like this really beautiful pink shade that's like super natural, but really, really pretty. And it has a little bit of a glow to it. So it kind of has like a glossy, almost finish, but it is 
really stunning. I kind of wish I came out with this like in the summer. I feel like it's a product that I would have worn all the time in the summer with the more glowy finish, but I'll still definitely wear it like in the winter. This is one that I feel like went viral again because it like is color changing. Those pH sort of products always I feel like go viral on TikTok where there's nothing super like extravagant about them. It's basically just like color changing because it's interacting with your skin's pH, but this one really is pretty and I do love the shade. So definitely a pretty product, but if you don't like a glossy kind of finish, you will not like this, but I do think it's very pretty. Okay, just gonna go in and set my under eyes with some powder and then we can go in with the product that I am most excited to try. Literally waited over a year to try it. I'll explain to you guys in a second, but very excited to see if it was worth the hype and the wait. Okay, the product that I'm most excited about is this new Mario palette. So if you guys watched my VIB sale haul, I think, I bought this and have been waiting to try it out. I literally still have not dipped into it. I cannot wait to finally be able to try this. Backstory on this, they brought this out last year. It's from Makeup by Mario. It's the Ethereal Eyes eyeshadow palette. I don't think I even said the name. I was so excited, but they brought this out last year during the holiday season. I didn't get it because I didn't realize at the time that it was going to be limited edition. So it only was out for a short period of time. Then they took it away and I was like, wait, no. And I was so sad that I didn't get it. And then I was like, okay, well, it's gone, you know? it is what it is but then they brought it back out this holiday season so I was really really excited so I snagged it immediately I got it during the sale so I did get it for 20% off which was nice um but it is such a beautiful palette I mean I love neutrals some may think this is kind of boring but this is the type of palette that I would reach for all the time mattes shimmers and they pull a little bit more cool tone which I personally have been loving recently so so excited to try this so let's just jump in I'm gonna start with this shade right here I'm gonna pull off the mirror film always so satisfying okay I'm gonna buff that neutral transition shade into my crease to begin. I should mention I love the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes. I use that all the time. So like the mattes, I feel like I know they're going to be good, but I don't know. I have... I do have his Master Shimmer palette, but I don't reach for that that often. So it's been a really long time since I've tried any of his shimmer formulas for eyeshadow. So I'm definitely interested to see how those work, but I wanna build up the mattes first. But these are definitely blending nicely, which I like. I'm gonna jump in with this shade now and start to deepen it up a little bit. This one's a little bit warmer, so it'll add a little bit of warmth, even though I would say the palette overall is more cool toned. The mattes are blending really nicely on par with the Master Mattes palette, so that's good, because sometimes you never know. Some brands, one palette can be amazing, the next one is not, and it's like, is the same brand even making this palette? Um, where then there's other brands where they're more consistent so I would say so far, this seems consistent with like his other eyeshadow palette that I love. Now I'm gonna jump in with this shade up here and I'm gonna apply that to the outer corner and bring it slightly into the crease, but I kinda wanna keep it in like the outer portion of the eye just to kind of smoke it out. These shadows are also definitely pigmented. You don't need like a lot. You don't really have to press your brush in very hard. You're gonna get good payoff with them, which is nice. But sometimes I can be heavy handed just like out of habit and then I'm like, trying to blend, 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 which is what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to decide which of the shimmers I wanna use. I think I'm gonna do this bottom one. I'm gonna go in with my finger first. Oh, that looks so pretty. And just press it on the lid. Oh, wow. This is like a true light gold. Very, very pretty and foiled looking, which I love. And applying really nicely with my finger. Now I'm gonna go in with the lightest shimmer shade and applying that to the inner corner and beneath the brow bone. These I feel like are like in between shimmers and glitters. They definitely have a lot of glitter in them, but they're more like tightly packed like a shimmer would be. They're really, really pretty. I think they do apply best with like a finger, but you can apply them with a brush if you want to. On the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with this cool tone shade and just kind of buff and blend that out on the lower lashes. I love like grayish browns like this. This is really pretty. And that is it for the eyes. I feel like this palette worked really, really well. These are shades that I will definitely use. So I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of this. If you have palettes that have similar shades to this, do you need to run out and buy it? No, like I'm never gonna tell you that, but it is a beautiful palette. So I'm really happy that I did get my hand on it this time and definitely one that I will continue to use. Okay, for a mascara, we have this one from Benefit. This is the Benefit Fan Fest. So this doesn't look like anything like super crazy. It's a curved wand, which I actually typically do like in my mascaras, but I saw a girl on TikTok. She was talking about how her lashes were really short and they were damaged and she used this mascara and it looked beautiful. So I was like, okay. Let's give it a try, let's see. So I'm gonna go in and just coat my lashes with this. Okay, definitely right off the bat, thicker formula, which I like, not super liquidy, which normally is good for like building volume. 
and also not having it smudge everywhere. So that's good. Okay, this is with one coat on each eye. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed. I feel like if I was to go in with any more coats though, it would get kind of clumpy. Like it's pretty voluminous as is now. Like I'm even trying to like separate these ones a little bit more, but definitely packed on a lot of volume and length and like curl in one coat. So I think it's pretty good. I just could see this getting clumpy quickly if you were to use like a bunch of coats of it. So I feel like one coat, and you're done and you're good to go. And it'll make doing your mascara nice and quick at least. So I like that. I'm gonna apply it to my lower lashes as well. All right, now for lips, we have two new lippies that we have to try. And these are kind of like the battle of the viral lippies. We have the new NYX Fat Oil Slick Clicks, which as soon as I saw these, I was like, okay, clearly they're going for, you know, the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. The component is essentially the same. You kind of press up the bottom, it comes out of the top you know, kind of supposed to be like a drugstore dupe sort of version. So that I'm excited about. And then Tarte also just recently launched their Maracuja Juicy Lips in a new finish. This is the Shimmer Glass Finish. So I have these in a couple of different shades and they basically have like glitter in them and they're supposed to be beautiful. They put up a video on their TikTok of a girl applying it and it was just the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Like a pure glitter lip, so, so stunning. So let's do the next one first. I just have a little bit of lip oil on my lips. Um, So again, this is the Fat Oil Slick Click and the shade on this is Going Viral. So you press up the bottom kind of takes a second but it'll come up and i'm just gonna go in love the scent on these they're really really nice i tried this in a different shade and i did really like it they give a nice pigment and a glossy finish so again like the tarte maracuja juicy lips you're getting that pigment of a lipstick but then the more of the finish of a gloss the difference to me with these is these are a bit firmer. If you've ever tried the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips, they're very, very soft. So if you press too hard on your lips, like it just kind of goes everywhere. These are firmer, which is nice, but they are a bit less glossy, likely because they're firmer. So it's kind of a matter of personal preference. If you want something super glossy, I would say go for the Tarte ones. If you want less gloss, a little bit more of like a lipstick, firmer sort of product, then you'll probably like the NYX one better. Both are great options. And this shade is really, really pretty. Again, it's the shade Going Viral and I really like it. It comes in a bunch of different shades. So definitely a good product, just definitely differences between this and the Tarte one. All right, now let's go in with one of the new Tarte Glitter Lips. I'm gonna try a shade Pink Shimmer Glass. So it looks like this, again, press up the component. All right, let's just go in. Ooh, I definitely had a lipstick like this when I was like a little girl that was like the same sort of color. Oh my gosh, this is definitely giving like frosted 90s vibes. Definitely has a lot of glitter and shimmer and like, foiledness to it. I think this color though, for me, I don't love it myself. It's like too frosted looking. I'm gonna try a color that's a little bit deeper. These do also have a nice sort of plumping effect, but it's very minimal. It's not going to be a plumper that like hurts. Um, it's more so just feels like cooling to the lips. It's very nice actually. But that color I feel like on me is like too light. I don't love that. So instead let's do Rose Shimmer Glass. This is a bit darker. And I think it'll be more flattering on. Okay, yes, much better. Ooh. So, so pretty. I think when it comes to the foiled shades, especially on myself personally, I like them to be a little bit darker. If it's too light, it just looks weird on my skin tone, I think. But this color is beautiful. And they have a really glittery, shimmery sort of finish to them. And this shade is beautiful. I really like this. They also came out with a bunch of different shades, like over 10. Um, so a really big shade range in this. Again, this is Rose Shimmer Glass. Right now, these are only available on Tarte's website and Sephora. I'm assuming in time they'll be available more places and not even in store at Sephora yet, just on their website. So those are the only places you can get them right now. And I know a lot of the shades are selling out. If you do get them on Tarte's website, you can use code Kelly if you want, um, which is my affiliate code. It'll get you 15% off. But this shade, I definitely really love. I like that. All right, you guys, so that is everything. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I will link all the products down below in the description box if you wanna check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.